Good day, my dear friends. I'm Dr. Osam Rahim from Easy and Different Radiology. Today, I want to talk about the mnemonic word number eight. I talk today about the hypervascular metastasis differential diagnosis and the mnemonic word for remembering disease differential diagnosis, MRCT PET. What is the MRCT PET re representing? M from melanoma, R from renal cell carcinoma, C from choriocarcinoma, T from thyroid cancer, PET, BET, resembling or representing pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors. So, this is the causes or the primary cancer, primary neoplasm, which can cause hypervascular metastasis. I also would like to mention what is the meaning of hypervascular metastasis. It, there are different phases after injection of the contrast. If I imaging after 25 to 30 seconds, it called arterial phase. However, after 60 to 70 seconds, venous phase, delayed phase after 150 to 300 seconds and this specific phase for hepatobiliary imaging for a specific lesion in the liver. What I will talk today about for this differential diagnosis the lesions which take the contrast during this arterial phase after 25 to 30 seconds. This is which is called the hypervascular metastasis. This hypervascular metastasis if I recognized one from this lesion I consider the primary one from this MRCT bit for differential diagnosis. By the imaging, this is which representing a hypervascular metastasis. If I image in this arterial phase as the aorta appeared more brighter than the IVC, so I am in arterial phase. This is MRI, this is CT, this is MRI, this is CT, all showing aorta which representing arterial phase so any lesions taking contrast in that phase it representing hypervascular metastasis like this lesion like this lesion in the brain due to renal cell carcinoma one from MRCT or these lesions in the liver due to also known primary of renal cell carcinoma and you can recognize the zebra spleen which representing also the arterial phase if there are enhancing lesions in the arterial phase, it representing hypervascular lesions. If I know the primary, like renal cell carcinoma, so the likelihood of this hypervascular metastasis is the primary from renal cell carcinoma as one from MRCT. This is another hypervascular lesion in the liver. If assuming there are primary, like these lesions of which have insulinoma, so the lesion in the liver is considered hypervascular metastasis and insulinoma one from the pancreatic endocrine tumor, neuroendocrine tumor. And this one, an example of hypervascular lesions in the livers from primary, non-primary of melanoma, which represented here by M. And this is another multiple hypervascular lesion in the liver in the arterial phase and you can recognize also the zebra spleen and the aorta which appeared intense enhancement so this lesion if known the primary carcinoid so should consider the hypervascular metastasis from that primary carcinoid which is also one from the neuroendocrine tumor endocrine tumor, neuroendocrine tumors, one from the cause of MRCT PET, which is causing hypervascular metastasis. So, by another diagram, to remember the cause of hypervascular metastasis, MRCT PET, and these are the different modalities in the radiology, MRI, CT, computed tomography, magnetic resonance image, and PET, bizotron emission tomography. This is to remember the cause of the Hypervascular metastasis, M from melanoma, R from renal cell carcinoma, C from 
Choriocarcinoma and T from thyroid tumor, PET, representing a pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor or any neuroendocrine tumor, most likely pancreatic islet cell tumor like insulinoma, phacromocytoma, other neuroendocrine tumor, carcinoid, and also a little bit percentage from the breast cancer can also cause hypervascular metastasis. If you like the content of my channels, you can also watch more than 70 presentation like this in my channels after searching in Google search by the name of the channels Easy and Different Radiology. Or you can wait me every Wednesday for MRI learning lesson, in Sunday for rapid review anatomy, or in Friday like this Friday for mnemonic word. Thank you very much for listening and have a nice day.